All right, welcome back to another one, guys. Today we're gonna do a walkthrough of our new boat. Ella's gonna help me. Hi. Let's get the cover off and we'll have a look. It's a bright one out here today, folks, so we just gotta bear with me here as I try and make some adjustments. All right, let's get started. We have a 1992 Chaparral bow rider, 1800 SL. <laughs> yeah, I had to look at the side. It's an 18 foot fiberglass boat sitting on a nice galvanized trailer, really nice trailer, real sturdy trailer, which is important. We'll go over that in a second, maybe. But what I really wanna show you is the inside of this boat. Like I said, this is an 18 foot bow rider with a ton of space, a ton. Right now you're sitting in the bow. Lots of room to walk. We can bring diesel. Let's have a look at the raft. So this particular boat here seats six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's well, rated for six. Come up here to the front and put another two or three people up here. That might be taking it to its weight capacity. I don't know, but Couple other interesting features. Okay, so under the doghouse here is a 4.3 liter Merc Cruiser. Pushes this boat real nice and easy. All right, so this thing right here, that's the ski pole. The base for the ski pole. The ski poles are here. The ski poles are in the floor right there. And yes, there's a little bit of water down there. That's only because we had trouble getting the cover on to try and beat the rainstorm the other day. But uh, I know it doesn't leak. All right, so obviously we got the trim up, trim down. We got the shifter here. On the dash, we've got we got the tack, all the gauges that you really need. Also came with the Eagle Fish Finder. The bottom of the brackets broke over here. Really doesn't matter. I've got two other fish finders. I also wanted to get chart plotter. Now I'm, I don't know the exact term for it, but I want to be able to see my path on the lake drawn in a line on the screen y'all know what that is leave me a comment down below that's what i'm looking for obviously that's where the key goes there's a power point there cup holders in the sides glove compartment so overall this boat's in really good shape the seats are in good condition um but i'll be honest i've never heard of a chaparral boat before but i like it and we rode on it yesterday. Here's a little bit of footage from yesterday. So we couldn't get on to the lake because the lake was rough. It's pushing two and a half, three foot waves. First time out in the boat, I'm not interested in sinking it or getting anybody in trouble. So we stuck to the river, which as you can see was muddy as chocolate milk. Nevertheless, we had a good time. So this week we're gonna be buying a tube, a ski rope, maybe a set of skis. We're gonna give it a shot. And ain't none of us ever skied before or went tubing before, but I think this summer's looking up. All right, Ella's gonna show you a couple other cool options. I think most boats have them, but this one does this one does as well. Yeah, these seats fold down so you can either like do a bed or you can even suntan things. So these two things are on both sides. So these seats can lift up and when they sit on here, that is the second place to suntan. Also on the very back we have this is a swim platform across the back. And another tube tie right here, which is what we mainly use the tube tie. When you use the ski pole, it will actually raise the pole up about seven feet off the deck of the boat, which what that does is when you're trying to get up out of the water, it helps you get out of the water a little easier. For us, I don't think it's gonna matter. I'm just gonna wipe out after wipe out after wipe out. So I might as well just tie to the back of the boat and get drug along like a beach whale. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> And the boat also does come with a stereo system. There's the speakers. Also, we got some nice aqua blue lights. And those lights are all the way around the boat as well as in the bow. 
but this boat's going to need a good vacuuming out a good cleaning the seats are in really good shape it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit summertime just got a whole lot better so the reason we got this boat was for well two reasons we got this boat is we are pretty much locked down here in ontario we're not really allowed to go well I shouldn't say we're not allowed to go anywhere just you can't vacation in the states or things like we used to do so we're bringing the vacations here to us that's why we got it so we also bought this boat to help with the youtube channel and give us something else to show you as well hunting and fishing is great it's what i love to do you can only do so much of it and we have to do some other things well we like boating <laughs> we I sound like we're seasoned boaters but we are not seasoned boaters we are new at this but we found out real quick that we love it so on this youtube channel we're going to go in another direction somebody's about to yell at me back here yes dear but we found out real fast that we like boating and come to find out a buddy of mine from work just bought a boat pretty much the same thing as this so i'm sure we'll be hooking up and doing some tubing anyway that's why i wanted to make a, a nice addition to the channel give you guys a little bit different content we're gonna do some fishing out of this boat like i said tubing water skiing we're gonna go some different places in this boat and uh, we're gonna bring all that to you as well so that's all I got for today's video, and I'm pretty sure Ella wants to do the outro, but you want to do the outro? Yeah. All right, stand by. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you guys always know when a new video comes out. Bye. Plus the boat says bye. Peace out. Hold on. Hold on, Elle.